Hi everyone, Alaska here, and I wanted to do a quick video. I was actually being guided. I was going to do it in the morning, but um, Spirit was like, nope. So uh, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, this video is going to be over um, a couple different topics. One, um, the COV-19, coronavirus-19. Um, I have a lot to say on that. I know there are people who um, do not believe that this virus is real or um, there's a lot of conspiracy about this virus and I'm here regardless of what it is. Um, the truth is, is people are dying, people are terrified and people are um, or even, let's let's wipe out the dying. Say this is a big conspiracy and nobody's really dying. People are afraid. People have kids. People have mothers, fathers, grandparents who all suffer from some sort of um, either like lung disease or asthma or something, um, some kind of impairment that would make them more vulnerable to the virus than other people. People on chemotherapy, for instance. So, we'll put the the truth or um, the conspiracies over the virus aside and focus on the fear that is um, running rampant all over the world right now. Uh, I have not personally met anybody that has this yet. I do know people who know people who have it. So it's not like um, nobody has it um, that anybody knows of. I mean, there are people who know of somebody who's close to them that I know um, that has come um, back positive for that, that is showing symptoms of some sort of sickness. So um, there is credibility to it, but then again, I mean, we, we don't know. So... Um, I did want to speak on that. I did want to make the fear aspect important because that is extremely important. I have spoken with my guides, with my angels, about um, this virus that's going around. And I only got one sentence out of it. And um, maybe I asked the question wrong, but... I have been doing a lot of um, work for the collective in the last few days. You can probably tell I look uh, pretty bad. Uh, I kind of broke out. Um, that happens when I'm extremely stressed and extremely, um, when I do this purging or I do collective work, um, I have been doing extremely, a lot of collective work, a lot of emotions dealing with them. and. Um, I asked my angels, why are there so many people that are having to die um, because of this? And uh, what I got was, um, it's their time to come home. So um, take that how you want it. I know I've kind of um, thought about different ways that that could mean. Um, Maybe they were a certain wave. Um, it is the older generation. So that seems to be getting um, hit the hardest and passing over at this time. So um, that is what I got um, concerning them. And concerning the deaths mainly is what I was asking about. So it was their time to come home. I, um, I've been doing a lot of meditation on this. Um, I've seen some things, uh, mainly a lot of colors. Even when I tune into it now, into the emotion of the planet, I get colors. I do not exactly know what it um, all means. It's kind of rainbow type colors, but there are lots of green, and green to me means healing, so I'm assuming that that's what this is. And um, I do have, um, I'm sitting here looking, 
I have um, an anthus that's pretty big. It's sitting right here with me. I've been using it to do my work. Uh, I have my hand on it now. It's more of a grounding for me. It is almost one o'clock in the morning. I, I've been doing this since about eight off and on, going through meditation, listening to binaural beats, really trying to, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Transmute uh, emotion that is going, transmute fear, um, taking people's fear, asking for peace for those who are in pain or are extremely terrified right now. I'm really focusing on the fear aspect of it because I really think that there is so much of this going around, so many people panic buying, not really sure what this is going to bring in the long run, whether we're going to be quarantined, not able to leave, and not have supplies for when that happens. I'm really trying to take that that fear from all of you and um, give you a sense of peace. Everything is going to work out and turn out exactly as it's meant to. It will. You will be protected. You will be taken down the path that you're meant to for whatever mission, whatever um, path that you are meant to take in the role of this virus. And I want to, um, I want to bring in a point that, um, I, I don't want anybody to feel fear from what I'm saying, from what I'm bringing through, um, quite the opposite. Uh, I'm seeing right now, um, because I was really kind of testing my, a connection to Gaia where an I wear brown guy's crystal heart and I'm very much seeing a big rock a big rock that is anchoring me in holding me secure almost like a like a blanket like securely being my rock right now um Gaia I do feel like is having a big role in this and we may not realize it but she is and she is with us. She knows what's going on. She sees it all. She feels it. So, um, if at any point, and I'm being made to tell you this, if at any point that you are feeling afraid or uncertain or in pain, you can reach to Gaia too and really wrap around her crystal heart and know that she's there for you. She's going to be your anchor. And that's what I see, like really anchoring in, she's like rooting in. She's going to be your anchor. She's going to be your rock. And I am getting repeating words. So this is really kind of anchoring in and again, um, the light language. Uh, I also, I mean, I felt some of this fear last night. I woke up at three in the morning to my son coughing and that, um, any other time it would concern me, but not as much as it does now. He went through a little coughing stage, probably for about 20 minutes, coughing off and on, and then it stopped and he hasn't coughed once today or so far tonight. I'm not really sure what that was about, but um, I am keeping an eye on it. Just like everybody should be keeping an eye on everything. Just be aware. Know that there are things. There's information all over the internet right now. All over so many videos that are going to help us. Um, to calm us. It's there to help calm. Some of it is there to instill fear, but don't feel fear. Don't, don't fall into this because it's what a lot of people, a lot of things want is our fear and if you can imagine how much fear right now is on this planet it's unreal and it's feeding a lot of things that we don't want to feed so um if you are a healer if you do do this type of work really kind of try to transmute that fear try to, to take it and turn it into love 
<laughs> I should have brought, uh, here, I'm going to put this on my lap. That was uh, extremely strong. I haven't connected with Arcturian in a very long time. Okay, um, I'm hearing sister. Now, I, I do have an Arcturian connection, uh, very much, um, like a sister, just like my, uh, Andromeda connection. I feel like a, a sister to her, um, Arcturian connection. She is, um, blue skin. She does have either white or more like a yellowish type hair. I can't really tell, but, um, I've only drawn her and I haven't really got to see her through my mind's eye clearly, but, um, she is, she does come to me, it seems, when I really, really need um, guidance and when I need help relaying things. Um, she did come to me before I, I went through a very big passing for me for the human trafficking stuff that I released um, through the dark night and through codes. She, she's been there through me. She knows um, when to bring through those really heavy, um, strong codes through me to you. Um, so take comfort in knowing that we are not alone through this at all. Um, we have the angels. We have um, galactic beings from all over that are very aware of what is happening. And they're here for us. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. I don't know um, the big overall picture, but I do know that we're not alone and that we should not feed on this fear and to have faith. I keep getting that half faith. So um, I'm kind of feeling back here and seeing if there's anything else um, that I need to bring through. I'm seeing yellow, Christ consciousness, but a heart, so love. They are here for us. They, um, they're always here for us in every moment. So, um, reach out to them. Pray. Pray for those that are going, um, through any sort of fear or any sort of pain or any sort of, um, effects from this virus, if it is real. And you don't even have to believe it, but pray anyway, because... There are people that do believe it, and there are people that are showing symptoms of something. So, um, um, pray for the mothers, pray for um, the parents, the, the mothers, the daughters, the everybody who are being affected by this right now. And I think that's going to be it. Um, much love to all of you. I know that you can reach out to me if you need me whatsoever at any point on Facebook or here 
for this, you too. I'll take care and I love you.